Hi there and welcome to the video. Welcome back to the Tap Cave. If you're new to the channel, my name is Nick. I am a reseller. I buy stuff and I sell it on the internet for profit. So, we have been away on holiday. Uh, we've been to Disneyland Paris for a week. We took our daughter there for her 18th birthday. And we're, it's now Monday and we have orders to ship. We have 47 orders going out, which isn't a great deal considering we've been away for a week. But bear in mind we had holiday settings on and we extended our dispatch time to reflect the amount of time we would be away. So orders naturally dropped off. Um, but I do have a lot to ship today to catch up, obviously. And I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I'm not going to do a, a regular picking orders video. I thought I'd just show you a few of the bits that are going out and my method of packaging a variety of items. Okay, so I have picked all of the orders now. So this is everything that's going out today. This includes Andrea's stuff. Um, so I'll give you a quick overview. Uh, at the back there you can see a bunch of books. Uh, this is one, two, three, four bundles of books so they're going out Andrea's clothing is here um, I can't remember which is which I think this coat was 30 pounds this coat was 20 that was 10 um, there's a skirt here that was 15 um, that's a little waistcoat I don't think that was a lot that was like only five or six pounds to clear um, there's this top that was, I think we took an offer of 14 on that one. Uh, this jumper was 20, or cardigan. And this green one was 10. So, a bunch of Andrea's stuff there. Now this uh, Duplo, I haven't sold all of it. I'm selling that by weight and we've sold 4 kilos out of that tub. Um, one person's bought two kilos and another two people have bought a kilo each. So I've got to weigh a kilo four times out of that tub. Uh, sold a Monopoly, there was very little value in that. I think that went for 12 or 13. Um, some little Duplo animals. Oh, this was a great sale. This was Andrea's uh, little turquoise necklace. We got 90 pounds for that. Um, so that's going out. Likewise, a little watch that Andrea picked up. I think this was in a little rummage pot and it was like something silly, like 20 pence. Um, I think that went for seven. Um, cassettes, another one of these dance cassettes. I took an offer of seven pounds on that one. Uh, so that's gone, a Billy Joel went. Uh, I'm clearing the rest of the job lot of cassettes now. Uh, a bunch went on auction. Um, that one's gone at three pounds. I'm waiting for payment on some others. Uh, oh, this was interesting. This is a little silver uh, antique cigarette case. Uh, I got 60 pounds for this, which isn't bad. It's a bit bashed up. Um, it's got some dents and tarnishing. Interestingly, it has a little name on it there, D.H. McW. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to open it with one hand. Hold on. There you go. So you can see the hallmarks in there. So I used Google to try and work out the date and everything. And then I messaged my good friend Edward from Antiques Arena and he put me right because <laughs> I'd, I'd figured it out all wrong. Um, but anyway, yeah, I got 60, um, which is there or thereabouts. Um, the scrap value so I'm not sure I did particularly well but it owes me about a pound I got this from a, a village fate a few years back and it sat on the shelf for ages I never got around to listing it so I'm quite happy with the return on that to be honest uh, this was part of that job lot of phones I'm selling off all of the accessories and stuff this is a little TP link um, desktop switch thing uh, without the power pack uh, that went for 15. I've got two more with the power supply that I'm trying to get 30 plus on. A uh, bunch of media, so we've got some software, very little value in that. 
Uh, Spyro without the manual didn't get a great deal for either. I think these went for four pounds each. Uh, a little Disney one there, Mickey Mouse, like the old, really early cartoons. Uh, I think we got nine on that. Um, uh, Blu-ray, I think that was only three or four. A uh, little sealed Young Victoria, I think it was only three. CD there for a fiver. This is going to a subscriber um, whose name I don't have to hand, but thank you so much for the order, really appreciate that. That's a Magnetic Man CD. That was reduced um, to clear, uh, I think we got four pounds back on that. Uh, Emerson, Lake and Palmer sealed, got, uh, I think it was eight pounds for that one. Another ELP. Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Used this time, I got a fiver for, and a little workout DVD there. Um, car parts have gone really well for the past weeks. So we've got an air filter there. These are, are very low value, about seven pounds on that. Um, a few filters, I can't remember which or which. I think this one might have been a cheaper one at maybe 15. Um, this one is going internationally and I got 40, 40 euros, I want to say, on that one. Um, another filter down here, I think, was a tenner. A uh, bunch of wiper blades, one person bought those two. I think they were about eight pounds each. Another filter there. Two of these, um, these are backings for. Uh, wing mirrors. Somebody's bought two of those at £10 each, really pleased with that. There was no sales history, nothing available, didn't know what to, what to price them at. Um, I think I started with five of these, so two have gone to the same buyer, which is good. Um, this is a brake light thing, long thin brake light, that went for 30 this was a good one as well. This is like a cover to stop, um, to cover your car in winter, basically. There, I oh know that's not a picture of it. Anyway, got 40 pounds for that, which I was chuffed with. Um, Sang Yong wiper blade there, I think that's gone for a tenner. Um, yeah, so that covers most of it, if not all of it. Um, so what I do is, um, just show you or give you an idea of my method of packaging some of this stuff. Okay, if we start with um, one of Andrea's clothing sales, um, this is a coat. Andrea stores her clothing in these clear bags and then we ship them in those bags. Um, she's got a little thank you card in there as well. And then we ship them generally in Poly mailers. We don't always use these eBay branded ones. Um, they are quite expensive for what they are. Um, but we get a monthly credit um, through our shop subscription. So we use that on some eBay branded stuff. So this is a really large size and it's a case of just popping it in. And sealing up and seal it shut like so. So again with a smaller item of clothing, um, this is another eBay branded poly bag, um, but smaller size obviously. Um, also this reference number is uh, on our SKU field, so I need to remember to put that on the outside of the bag so when I'm shipping, I know what's inside. And then just pop it in. Like so. And seal up. Job done. Okay, next we have some little Duplo animals. Now these things are pretty sturdy. Um, they're not gonna get damaged or broken. So to be honest, I could just pop them in the envelope, but I have a little off cut 
of this foam wrap stuff um, from an order that I placed myself. So I figured I may as well just go that little bit, go the extra mile and wrap them just to show the customer that we're taking care. So we will just do that. Like so. And then that, with a bit of luck, will still fit inside there. Job done. And again, so I know what's in it, we've got Duplo animals. So the labels I use um, cover these, obviously, so the label will stick on there. Okay, next we have this little TP-Link, uh, what do they call it, desktop switch. Um, and I've decided to give that a little bit of protection. I've just cut a piece of card to size and I'm gonna wrap the unit in the cardboard. It only takes a minute and secure that. On there and then as far as I'm concerned that's good to go inside a bubble mailer just like that job done so next media with standard size media I will use these D1 size um, bubble mailers um, links to this stuff is in the description below if you want to go and check out some of this packaging supplies. Um, so what I'll do quickly is just write on them. So we've got mic rough cut tape, um, magnetic man. Now the subscriber uh, I just checked was Steven. So if you're watching Steven, thanks for the purchase. And then we've got magnetic man do these quick DVD Young Victoria and Wii Game Just Dance 2 and chuck it in. Now this is one of the reasons I do enjoy doing media because it takes seconds to package. This will all go large letter, just to check. Gives you the length there and the width. There we go. CD, same. Tape, double check, it's got the right tape in. Done. Right, next, Duplo. It's actually five kilos we've sold of this. One buyer has bought two, and three buyers have bought a kilo. So I'm selling this by weight, just as a mixed lot of random bricks. So for this, um, these boxes, I'll put a link below to where we get these. These have come from our good friend Josh. Um, these larger ones, take two kilos um, quite comfortably and these smaller ones which I believe are six by six um, they take a kilo but you have to pack it quite carefully so I'm going to use my little scale Let's check that's in the shot yep so I've already teared this to the box weight so that zeroes out what it should do near enough there we go so that's zeroed out. So then I will basically fill this with Duplo and then check the weight on here as we go. Now 
this has all been thoroughly checked. It is all genuine Duplo and you can tell that because in the studs there, I don't know if that's gonna show, it says Lego inside each stud. So, fill this up. one and a half I may have to compact this down a bit should be somewhere near now One point nine one four. That's cool, look at that. The ladybird piece. Two kilos. I'll put in a couple of extra bits. I always chuck in a little bit extra so it's actually overweight. There you go. So that's two kilos and 24 grams and it's just a bit proud so I'm going to have to condense it a bit too long, and that will be done and then like I say with these I have to actually pack the bricks in quite well to get a kilo in one of the smaller ones so I've now got three of these to do so I might just do that on time lapse. I was sure I had put a kilo in one of these 6x6 six six boxes, as I said earlier. But I've just carefully packed this one, if you can see, um, and it's at 875. Now I don't think there's any way I can get another 100 grams in there, so I'm not sure what I've done. I might try, <coughs> excuse me, I might try another one and see if I can pack it even tighter, but judging by that, yeah, I don't think so. Are we sure though? I was convinced because I've sold a few kilos out of this uh, crate. I was sure I'd put them in one of these. Perhaps it was a different box. But we'll give another one a go and see if I can cram a kilo in here. Yeah, fail, complete fail. I can't get a kilo of Duplo in these six by six boxes. I've packed that as tightly as I can. Don't know if you can see that. And that is 886 grams of Duplo. So unfortunately, I remembered that wrong and I've just wasted all that time. So I need to find some other boxes and put a kilo in different boxes. That's annoying. Okay, I've elected to go with the larger size, the, the size that I put two kilos in earlier, and I'm just going to uh, <coughs> cut the box down and, and fold it in. Um, but yeah, I need to get cracking now. I faffed about so much today. I don't have much time now to get everything finished and dropped off at the post office if I want to catch the last pickup, so I need to get cracking. So I will time lapse, I think, 
doing these last three kilos and cutting these boxes down. Right, on to the silver cigarette case. Um, I've elected to wrap this in a cardboard little sleeve for protection. So I've just cut a simple piece of cardboard and then that's going to hopefully still go as a large left. Secure it that way. I'll secure it this way as well so it doesn't slide out squeeze the ends up like so so that is well protected in there and then it should still fit in a bubble mailer like so right on there silver sig case and it should still, with a bit of luck, go large letter. Right, so similar with this little lady's watch. Um, I'm just going to wrap that in an off cut of bubble wrap before placing that in a bubble mailer. So, like so. Okay, so that's given that plenty of protection. I'll just check again this is still okay to go large letter which it is it still slips through there and then we have watch okay on to a board game now people often ask how I choose to package these. If the box is really sturdy, um, often I will just use packing paper, this sort of stuff, uh, and just wrap it in that. In this instance, and with many board games, the boxes aren't that great, they're not that sturdy. Um, so in this case, what I've elected to do is I have cut a strip of card I get these crisp packet boxes from local shops. So I've cut it to the width or the length, if you like, of the box. And then we're just going to wrap it round. So, fold it there, there, and just keep going until you've used it all up. And secure that in place. like so and then that is protected all the way around like so and then you can either use the packing paper or cling wrap so this is black cling wrap we'll use this for this one so what I would do I'll stick one end on if you're going to do this, I find it's a lot easier to have the side it's rolling off facing the box. And then once this end is stuck, you can just roll it backwards. Okay, hopefully that's a better view. So, as you can see, the, the edge where it's coming off, you want against the packet, and then you can just roll it off like so. And if I cut it there...
seal that on. And the sides will just fold over, seal that. Likewise at this end. Just gonna go that way quickly. And then what I like to do with uh, black wrap is give it a good um, going over basically with tape to make sure that it's not gonna peel off or it's not gonna snag. So we'll go around that way, around this way. We'll go again. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Didn't want to do that. Now, I caught that on the tape gun, as you can see, and I've actually ripped it. Thankfully, it's not showing the product. And what I will do, I'll stick my postage label over there because they're six by four, so I'll cover that. But that's annoying. Right, almost done. Let's go around here. And around here. Job done. Right, I'm going to have to leave this here. I had hoped to show you a few more items being packed, but I really need to get a shift on now. So I'm going to wrap up the video at this point. I hope you found that interesting. Drop me a message below and let me know what you thought. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.